Some of the biggest money managers in the markets have reported their first quarter moves this week, and it turns out most weren't playing the gold markets. If this sounds familiar, you're right. The trend of using precious metals and clothing has been happening with silver, but on a much larger scale since silver is known to be antibacterial. That makes the amount of gold in the trophy worth around $200,000 at current spot prices. Some estimates peg the total value of the famous World Cup trophy, including the base, at about $20 million. That's the fastest growth among the five biggest gold-backed ETFs tracked by Reuters. Reason enough for the World Gold Council to create a lower cost option. Gold investments are not reaping the benefits of a looming global trade war between the United States and China. And it looks like gold-backed exchange-traded funds are headed for their weakest month since July 2017. As of Friday, the United States is now engulfed in a trade war with China, which as a major political event normally would have scared investors to buy safe havens like gold to store the value of their assets. But the bounce in gold was not as strong as it could have been. For Gold Watch, I'm Renita Young. Renita Young is in Chicago reporting for Reuters. Protesters have made their way to North Michigan Avenue and at times shut down parts of the street. Now recently, one of the protesters said that state representative LaShawn Ford filed a bill to recall Mayor Rahm Emanuel as mayor. The protesters have consistently asked for Mayor Rahm Emanuel to resign, as well as the state's attorney, Anita Alvarez. Reuters correspondent Renita Young traveled through Iowa talking to farmers. The Palmer amaranth weed grows inches a day, reaching up to about eight feet in height, with a stem thick enough to damage farm equipment. So farmers and state agriculture officials say the best way to get rid of it is to pull it out of the ground by hand. The Meghan Markle effect has made its way to yellow gold jewelry sales, with more Americans going for the classic choice. I'm Renita Young in New York in the Jewelry District. The World Gold Council said that there were more sales of yellow gold jewelry in the first quarter of the United States this year than there were since 2009. That's pretty remarkable given the fact that for the last 15 years, it's really been a trend of silver, white gold, and platinum jewelry. I talked to a few jewelers who told me they had seen as much as a 30% increase in sales during the first quarter that started, guess when? When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle got engaged in November, they started seeing more interest and more purchases of yellow gold jewelry. Now the World Gold Council admits that there's definitely a trend of celebrities influencing jewelry sales. They found in a 2016 survey that about 22% of women who bought jewelry or luxury items were influenced by magazines and other media, while about 11% of the women were influenced directly by celebrities. Another trend people are picking up from the new Duke and Duchess of Sussex is the center cut diamond, which was sourced from Botswana, the world's second largest producer of conflict free diamonds. People are a little bit more conscientious about where their diamonds come from these days. And if anyone's wondering about Prince Harry's ring, he took the trendy choice of the last 15 years or so, platinum.